old habits die hard. So here we've got where we put our batteries. And this small container up here, these are the battery, or the containers that we use that are out on the floor by our trash cans where people can put their batteries. And then what we need to do is take these and dump them in this barrel. You can see somebody came here with a full container and just set it on top of here, didn't bother putting it in here. Of course, there's no instructions to tell them that. There's no training to tell them that. There's, nobody has any idea that we have an easier system here. And I'm not even sure who's doing this. This wasn't done during our shift. This was when I came in to work today. I just found this here. And so I'm gonna to have to dump those in. I don't know where this container goes to. So it's just probably gonna go up here where I keep the extra containers. Um, but it's just this extra work because somebody didn't know what to do or didn't want to just do something simple like uh, dumping this in here. Now what I'm going to have to do, instead of you know blaming the person, so I've got this barrel and it's labeled for batteries and I've got this other one here. Now this one is, is empty, so this one's the one we're filling up. So what I'm probably going to do is put some signs up here so that people know this is a the spare bucket, the, the empty bucket, and that they should be filling this bucket. And then probably what we'll do is when we take, when this one gets full, we'll just move it over here have a sign up here that, notes that shows that this is the full bucket. So when the people come to pick up the hazmat, they can just grab this bucket and they won't have to worry about these because these are either it's empty or it's being full and they don't need to you know, deal with anything that's not full. They, we want them to take just a full one. They don't need to take half full one because that's just uh, waste. You're just taking space with you instead of all the batteries. So, you know, we want to set it up kind of like the uh, the lamps are here where we've got an empty box, one being filled, and the full boxes. So we want to do the same thing here. Empty barrel, one we're filling, and then the full one, and then there'll be a sign up there to mark each one. So it'll be a little easier to, to understand, both for the people who are bringing the batteries here and then for the people who are picking them up. So I made some new signs for the batteries and have them color-coded. So have yellow and, and red. So the yellow one is the one that's being filled. The red is going to be one that's ready to be picked up and then in white and I moved up here the empty bin and the reason I put it up here is number one it's next to the empty boxes so it's all kind of with the same stuff and number two if I have the two the two barrels down here people are just going to put batteries in both of them I don't want them to put them put batteries in one I just want them to put them in the one that's that's being filled up. I want to keep one empty, so I put it up here so no one's tempted to put batteries in the top of that because no one's going to lift batteries up there. So we got this one to fill, and then you can see I put the instructions on there and even color coded the instructions. So when this is full, you move it to the red spot, the full battery bin, full battery bin, and then you put the empty bin up there into this space. So if this gets full, you just move it over. And it's right there. And so when the hazmat people come in, they can just see if there's a, a barrel there, they pick that up. And the barrel that's here, they don't need to worry about. By using the barrels like this, so this, this sign, which was a Kanban before, which you can flip over, you don't have to flip that over now. So the, the, what we needed to do is when this got filled up, somebody needed to flip this over. And then when they come to pick it up, they have to flip it back over. But now they don't have to deal with that at all. This will just stay with the way it is. And the barrels themselves actually become the Kanban. So when the barrel moves over, that's when you know it's ready to pick up. Instead of having signs and having to deal with that, you just have to deal with the barrels, which is what you're dealing with anyway.